Hello everyone. So we have just touched down in Barbados. This lighting really isn't doing me any favours, but I thought I would give you a quick room tour of where we're staying because I'm honestly amazed and for the price as well it was so affordable and you really um, get spoiled here. So we are staying at the Beach View Hotel and we are in the classic suite so you can just get you an average hotel room or you can upgrade for a classic suite. The upgrade gets you a kitchen basically because we're going to cook one or two nights whilst we're here so yeah. I thought I would give you a little room tour. So, just so you get an idea, this is the entrance and there's a nice aircon above here as well. A nice little mirror and as you can see, we have the kitchen. Oh, this fridge is honestly huge and it, they also provided like a little tea cake, milk, hot sauce and cold water. And then the top is the freezer and it's got ice that's ready made. We have some shopping bags that they provide. Um, you just gotta give them back. We've got tea and coffee here. We've got some stools, like a breakfast bar, candle. They've also provided some mozzie spray. Um, kitchen towel, which is amazing. Blender, coffee maker, toaster, kettle, the lot. We've got a nice stove. Everything comes equipped, as you can see. Oven. I haven't even looked in these drawers myself, so let's look together. Wow, we've literally got all the utensils, which is nice. Okay, so this is the kitchen basically. And then following through, it opens up to our living room. So you've got two sofas, it's so spacious in here. Got a TV, nice shelving area, balcony. Um, you won't be able to see anything now. It's got dark so quickly. Get stuck at like 6 p.m. here. Um, these doors don't actually lead to anything, they're locked. I will quickly take you out to the balcony. I'm not sure if you will be able to see anything. Well, you can actually. So out here we have our seating area. There's a nice fan up here. We've got sun lounges. It looks so beautiful. And this hotel has uh, I think it's four pools and this is one of them. We've literally got the best view. We've got a double balcony and this is our... <laughs> this is our um, bedroom obviously. So I will come show you that next. So this is our room. We always have to, you have to close the door to keep the aircon on. I'm guessing this is our wardrobe area. There's plenty of hangers, got a safe, just close those, and then how cute is this little setup, and they've like arranged flowers, so cute. Also, best thing about it, it's got this huge mirror, like your TV area, it's got a nice cool rug, massive curtains. It's not quite doing it justice on camera, I'm not gonna lie. And then we have an ensuite as well, which is cute. Oh my God, this lighting, not doing me any favors, is it? Um, shower, bath, and yeah, I think that's everything I've really got to show you. They also provide towels as well, and like beach towels and stuff, which is great. So yeah. Stay tuned for the rest of the vlog. Come out to share programs, initiatives. 
Hello everyone, so it is a brand new day. It is the first day officially for us in Barbados. Excuse this lighting. I am gonna try and uh, tan my face today in the sun. I know that's really bad, but I am gradual tanning and I don't really wanna put the gradual tan on my face. Um, I don't know if you can sort of tell from the rest of my body. I'm a little bit tanned, but God, this lighting. I thought I would just show you the outside of the view. Look at that. The price is here. $14.99. I think that's about a good six, seven pounds for some strawberries. I'm so fascinated by all the food. Look how good it all looks. All this cake, banana bread. Wow, they've even got like Waitrose stuff in here. Look, so weird. Mm, what are these? What do these taste like? Ripples. Wow, there's just so much stuff. There's so many variety of crisps. <laughs> Got all the crisps. One more here. If you like your own coffee, bring your own. Because look, forty-six dollars. Nice local jam section. So we are back from the supermarket and this is like a little food haul. We've got some ham for some sandwiches and also some jam, soap, we've got some crisps, got some rosé, apples, we're going to make a red Thai curry one night, got some hot sauce, coffee, bread, eggs, butter, rice, I hope this is semi-skimmed milk, I'm really not sure but so it is currently midday we've had we've had an eventful morning so after the supermarket a lady actually um opened her door onto our car and it made a, made a little scratch and we were worried about if we'd lose our deposit or not but we're actually fine it's all good now so we're currently walking up the beach just outside our hotel and if you can see the water is literally crystal clear We've also picked up some snorkels. Um, the hotel actually give you these for free for the week and they also give you like a parasol and some uh, fold up chairs, but we're not taking those today. But yeah. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh, I've just flicked that all up the back of me. Wow, walking up the beach, this is how small I guess they get and then see how big they get later. So if you see any of these red marks on these trees, that means these trees are poisonous and if I was to literally touch this tree trunk, I would get blisters all up my hands and there's actually fruit that fall off of it. I actually can't see any of it, but the fruit as well if you eat that or touch that it's poisonous basically which i found quite interesting and i learned this watching a youtube video it's a little crabs actually quite big crabs oh big wave coming so we actually oh we have to walk through this and the bag's pretty big and i don't want anything to get wet but if you look it's gonna be a massive crash well, come on, is it? <gasps> oh yeah, God, look at that crab. Oh, it's there on the top of the rock. Can you see that? Right there. So we have sat ourselves here, just on this beach. We will probably buy some sun beds at some point, but we thought just for the first day, get our bearings and do a bit of exploring. Um, we've also made ourselves some packed lunch. So these containers actually were in the hotel room, which is very handy. 
I've just got a ham and mayo sandwich with some ruffle crisps, uh, sour cream and chive I think they are. And yeah, we're just gonna sit, enjoy the view and do some snorkeling soon. It's a little crab. coming closer. So we are currently at a restaurant called Zacchio's. I think we've got the best table because it's literally just us here. This is the view. Looks so nice. And then this is the menu. So it is now the next morning, it's the Sunday now, we've woken up, we are having some breakfast, the, so they actually gave us tea cakes on our first day, not tea cakes, bagels with like raisins in them with some strawberry jam and stuff, we bought this butter and strawberry jam ourselves but we got that out here to like melt because it is literally nearly like 30 degrees I think, it's very humid. Yeah, we're gonna have that, enjoy the view, and we're gonna head over to the animal flower cave today. If you don't know what that is, have a Google. Um, I'm not 100% sure what it is yet, I'm yet to learn, but it's a cool cave basically, where water you can swim in inside the cave, and then we're gonna go there for lunch as well, just because it makes sense. But yeah, it's only 25 Asian dollars each, which is about 12 US dollars, which is around like, nine ten pounds so it's quite cheap we've got a little friend with us we've given him food twice or his mate some food and now he's back for more here we are coming into the animal flower cave so this is kind of what you see when you get here and this this is cool all our surroundings before we go in the cave pretty cool this is the entrance I'm just gonna go get our tickets now spear fishing time for shells and lobsters we can jump soft coffee paper for fun to do like august any other not to keep it. Okay, it like drops like a meat on them. at the restaurant sitting with a nice view this is the menu i think i'm gonna go for this yeah you can see all the seaweed from the plane as well i was like oh that looks like jellyfish but it's seaweed jerk chicken and some rice got a pina colada and this is my curry which have more poppadoms though we have now come from the animal flower cave to haywards beach such a cool entrance look at this so cool look how burnt my feet are look at this though. wow so we've literally just walked from where that blue tent is down there just to here got our towels laid out just put our sun cream on and then yeah this is the beach i also bought a woggle from like a petrol station and it was 15 Beijing dollars so yeah i just have got that because i don't like I don't like touching the floor when I'm swimming. Anyone else like that? If anyone cares, my Primark is from, my Primark? My bikini is from Primark. And I bought it last year in the sale for two pound. Two pound for the top and two pound for the matching bottom. We just have to run and move to save our stuff. We were literally sitting just there and the water literally just touched the tip of the towel. 
because we've moved it a bit higher up here now. So we are now back from the beach. I've just had a shower and now I have changed. So this is the skirt from H&M if you watch my come back with me and then plain black crop top from Bershka. I've just been given some hot sauce and it's making my mouth go really hot. Anyway, this is the outfit. Um, tonight we're going to a place called, it's called Caban. I will confirm that when we're there. And it's a uh, restaurant on the beach basically. And this is the vibe, I think it is. Here we are at the Caban. Red mark on the tree again, but this is the view outside the Caban. So cool. That will be our table right there. So this is the menu. It's actually quite expensive. But we're here for a good time. Not a long time. Here is the menu. So nice. Got a little fire stick there. So no, actually. So for starters we have hummus and chips or crisps, can't really see because the sun's setting but looks good. So we've made it to Whole Town Shopping Mall. Um, I thought I'd just film this because it looked quite cool. Water courtyard. So we're just at Chefet, which is basically like their McDonald's. I've got a fat burger, chips, and a roti, which I've never tried before. Hello everyone, so it is Tuesday today. Sorry I didn't vlog much yesterday. It was such a cloudy, rainy day and it, to be fair it still is today. But last night we just made food ourselves, made use of the kitchen that we have. We had a red Thai curry. It was okay, it wasn't the best, not gonna lie. I'm going on the catamaran. So I think we get like free drinks all day and there's lunch included. We get to see turtles, there's snorkels provided and I think we get to see a shipwreck and we just stop off at loads of different points. Excuse, I feel like I sound really throaty. Um, does anyone else get that when they sleep with the aircon on on holiday? Because it doesn't make me sound the best, does it? I've, we t I turned it off last night to see if that made a difference and it definitely did help, but I still feel a bit... I don't know, like I've got something stuck in my throat. That's them. I think this is our boat right here. Like it. Yeah, it looks like it. We've just come back off the boat and noticed that I am terribly burnt. I don't even know if you can tell, I think you can. But my back of me is literally burnt. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's not good. This is where we're eating tonight. Hello everyone, please excuse my, the state of my hair. I think it's nearly about midday now the next day tomorrow's like our last full day which is so sad but we are currently chilling by the pool i think this is like a baby pool but because it's out of um like school holidays no one literally no one's here so we've literally just got the pool to us sorry my bikini tank my bikini tires just scared me i thought something was crawling on me then Ooh. But yeah, we are just chilling by the pool today. It was forecasted to be like rainy. I don't know if you can see behind me, but there's like really dark clouds. But then over here, 
it's really blue skies. I don't know if you can tell, and the sun just keeps coming in and out. Tonight we are going to um, Lone Star, which is meant to be one of like where all the celebs go. Doubt we'll see any though because it's a Wednesday, but we will be celeb watching. And yeah, we're just having another chill day. We might go to the beach later on this afternoon. Yeah. It is absolutely chucking it down. This is just outside of our hotel room. That's our car. <laughs> so we have been in the hotel room since lunchtime. It is currently four o'clock and I've started to get ready for dinner tonight. We're gonna go for some drinks just beforehand, I think, and then go to Lone Star, which is one of the most popular restaurants on the island. So very excited about that. I've just like curled my hair with these hair straighteners and then put it up like this, but I'm gonna do my makeup. My freckles have all come out as well. I've always hated freckles on me, but I think I kind of like them now. I'm not sure, but I feel like I'm just gonna cover them up with my makeup anyway. So I have just got ready. This is my hair. Looks better now I've done my makeup. And then this is the dress I'm wearing. Excuse the messy room and the handprint on the mirror. This dress is from Zara. You'll be able to see my sunburn actually in this because it is backless. There you go, you can see it. Pretty dress though. Whoa. And then outside it is currently tipping it down. And that waterfall is still going. It only does it when it rains, but it looks a lot worse in real life than it does on the camera oh my god oh my god look at the street oh my god wow This is the menus. This is our view. Literally no one's here just yet. Oh. We have some nice bread on the table. Nice view. This, this is mermaid tears and that's a rum punch. We have shrimp for starters and it's coated in coconut like breadcrumbs. Yum. And I got a passion fruit pina colada. Oh. For mains we have poppadoms. They're pretty big poppadoms as well. And then we have curry. We both got the same. I got medium heat though. Medium spice. And yeah. I'm gonna enjoy. So it is our last full day here. We're currently chilling by the pool but we're about to go to Mullins Beach for some lunch. The weather's not looking so great at the moment. It was raining for a good half hour and we just stayed under this umbrella. But yeah, we're gonna go get some nice local food and then go to the beach afterwards. So it is currently 10 past three and we have been out for lunch at a local bar. Can't remember what it's called. I think it was something like G-R-A-N grinders bar i'm not sure anyway the food was really nice i didn't get a picture though which is annoying but after that we just went to macy's the local supermarket and just got a few bits which i'm going to show you i've already been at it but we got this chocolate swell cake slice it looks like this more of these ripples i thought they were called ruffles for some reason but these are more of like the local crisps. Also picked up some of these biscuits. They look really nice. Then I also picked up some of these like chocolate wafers as well. But yeah, literally the sun is gone. It seems like it's been gone for days, not gonna lie. We did get a few hours in the sun earlier. Not a few hours, a few minutes more like. Um, but I do have a tan, I don't know if you can tell. A bit red hair. 
Yeah, I am actually more tanned in real life than I am on camera. I think we're just going to stay here for a few more hours and tonight we have dinner at the Sea Shed. You know, can I eat it? You can eat it. There's a guy just outside our room cutting coconuts off the tree. It's quite cool. So today is our last day. Sorry, I didn't really vlog yesterday or last night. We had a change of plan very last minute. So Sea Shed actually um, cancelled on us because of the weather last night, as it's right next to the beach, like on the beach basically. Um, it wasn't really practical or safe to open. So everyone in the restaurant got cancelled and we then booked tapas. It was a, a half hour drive, but it was really worth it because the food was really nice. And we've heard good things about it on like TripAdvisor. So yeah, we went to a place called Tapas, which was in Bridgetown. I'm just chilling on like these sun lounges on our balcony. But yeah, we um, check out was at 12, but I asked to have it extended to two and they, and they done that no problem. These birds, are so annoying <laughs> and they just keep trying to get really close to me and they're like fighting each other but yeah it's the last day here really sad i think we might try and go to see oh my god it's right next to me all right please go away bird <laughs> um i think we might try and go to sea shed today for lunch so i'll let you know i'm gonna try and get a picture in this Princess Polly dress. So cute. You can see my tan lines or burn lines. <laughs> so we've just made it to the beach. We literally leave in a couple hours, so we're really soaking it up. This whole sand mound thing was not here when we, I don't know if you can tell. Literally our last day and it is the sunshine. The, the past like two, three days have been raining, but like the sun's been in and out. But right now, it looks so nice. Not fair. It's pretty flower as well. All these flowers always fall outside our room. And I just put in my hair for a pick. Looks cute. We've decided to soak up the last 45 minutes of sun that we have. Our room is up there, by the way. That balcony, that balcony, and that balcony. We literally got the best out of the whole hotel. Like, everyone's seats are different, but ours. We got blue cushioned ones. And everyone else has got like white um, metal ones. So, we have just checked out re at reception. We've left both our suitcases there. And now we're off to Sea Shed for lunch, um, which should be good. We meant to go there last night, as I said before, but. It got cancelled, but yeah. So we've just made it to Sea Shed. This is what it's looking like. This is what the menu is looking like for Sea Shed. Pizza. And then mains. I've got the coconut fish and chips and a Wagyu burger. Looks so nice. Look at this place. 